and welcome back to Sacred Stones Reverse Recruitment. So last time we took on Chapter 7 pretty easily. We did get Master Seal. Well, it was recommended to use it on one of the flyers, either you, Cyrene, or uh, Valter, whenever they get to that level. And for some reason, the last video was recommended a lot. I don't know why. It did get quite a lot of views, but let's just carry on with this chapter. Someone did say that they wanted to see Rennick as a assassin which is pretty cool so we might try and use him as well all right want to take care of this guy because you are a threat to said flyers and Dusel just goes off with steel lance okay I'll save now thanks Dusel you're good I kind of want you and Cyrene to stick together, and you can stay with these two. Or rather, hey, attack these two and stay near Deucel since you're a support partner. Alright. Guess we'll go this way to heal. Um, there are dark mages. One right there. So we need to figure out who's going where as far as the mages. Um... Yeah, easy picking these guys. Yeah, not too much eventful in this chapter. Basically the end of Act 1. So getting Cormac's team will be helpful in clearing it out. It usually goes pretty slow on that uh, left hand side. There's one level 10. Did I give you the Armor Slayer? I think we got one from a village in Chapter 5? Hmm. I do need Renek to go up that way. Just keep you back here. And Mir, we'll send you toward the, uh... The front line, I guess, is the left-hand side. You have to be careful over here since Leon's going that way. Perfect for his reunion with his brother, Cormag. So speaking of the lore with them... Oh, nice miss. My next chapter will be we'll, uh, begin to do the lore again. Probably gonna end up with me too. Nope. Begin lore because I think I know who we're getting as Tana and Amelia's replacements, which is quite interesting. And there they are. Yeah, no more Orson. I could try and give this to you, or not. One more archer over there. Um, right, I guess we can send these guys this way. I'd like to send at least one mage over here. Let's burn through the one. Oh, never mind. You actually don't do enough damage, Reeve. Good job. save on a lock pick and I'm gonna put you with the javelin. Do you have one? Yes. At least Volter's leveling fast. Hey look, another weapon level that I didn't call out. Um... I'm wondering if the Leon can actually do this. Let me test. Not well. No. Oh, there's the armor slayer. 
Uh, I don't want you to get to him. I'm just gonna leave him right here. Alright. Another archer. I'm going to have just you and back off. Yeah, so I don't know if um, Cormac is going to have an auto promotion. Um, after he, he normally, whenever you get the Lunar and Solar Brace. But you can select if you want to promote that. I heard that you can actually promote them normally, the Lords, in this game. Um, but Eric and Ephraim don't really have a forced promotion because you get to choose. Like, I think it'll ask you after Chapter 16, you've obtained the Solar Brace, would you like to promote Ephraim now? And you can say no. So we can potentially test that and get around a force demotion as it did happen with Roy and I think the order of his reverse recruitment uh, he could not Roy but Corral could demote which is quite irritating yeah exactly why I send Lee on this way and someone did mention they wanted to see Soleil as a mage tonight and I do too This one just goes off. Look at the lad. <laughs> okay, thank you for moving forward. I actually don't want to fly Cormag towards you. Nope. Die. I mentioned I'm loving Cyrene because I'm loving using Cyrene. Someone else apparently likes using her too, which is good. Yeah, one of the many benefits of a patch like this. Let's see if we can crit you. Or we can miss. Oh, dodge this. Yeah, he's kind of ridiculous for a tier 1 unit. That's some more healing experience for you because I think that's what you're going to mostly be good at. You're kind of like Makai in a sense as a lord, Leon. Alright. I really don't want Rennick taking them, so I think I'm going to... Wait, not attack with Bolting. Hold on to that, or Vulnerary, please. Uh, and I guess we'll just... Stay back here, nothing else to do. Too bad you and can heal. Be helpful right about now for Cormac's team. That could be a good run and kill. I did recently use Coleman to play through and he, as rough as it was on the initial start, he actually turned out pretty decent. But I did use him in alongside Nimai and those two to get together just work well really well as you can imagine. So I normally don't use either of them. I don't think most people do anyway. Alright. Just send you in here. Uh, I need to heal Soleil. I'm gonna have to prepare for those cavalier ambushes. Not that they're ambush spawns, but they're still annoying. Uh, we could go ahead and talk to you. Yeah, hi guys. Yeah, we don't really care about you two. And I think Dizzle. Yeah, he needs healing too. Alright, Renick. Good job. Oh, now that I have him deployed, it looks like he's wearing sandals. Uh, does anyone have any, like, gems or anything? I don't think so. Yeah, 
All right. Well, all right then. Oh, let's just build support. How? Yeah, and I don't have Lee on this way. Ow. I do have vulneraries. Spalter. Uh. Oof. Sometimes these uh, combat forecasts don't look the nicest. And we are out of healing. Cool. Okay. Um. Can somebody hit him for like not, not a KO? So you pretty much are the reincarnation of stuff for this playthrough. Oh yeah, someone also did comment that there was a hack of um, the birthright characters in Conquest, so I'm going to have to check that out whenever I have time, probably later in the week. Because that would be really fun trying to get through Conquest with, like, I guess, less tanky units. Although Ryoma could just join and break the game like he does in Birthright. I guess everyone else can just keep moving. Yeah, not too much exciting going on this one. Just Selena roasting things as usual. Okay, can anyone else reach him? Yeah, you can. And we'll let those two build support. Okay, good. Now you dodge. Uh, face taking with a thief doesn't seem too practical, but I want him to get some experience and speed. Well, what more do you need? It's like a one luck level up, I'd say it's uh, very lucky, ironically. A very lucky level up, or you've locked up. Hey, you left one HP for someone else to kill. You've really locked it up. Ow. Okay, good. Alright, can you kill anything in this row? Probably better off doing this, ironically. And no crit. Because it usually comes on the second one. Okay, and then Yuriv can go here and just kill this guy, get rid of him. I don't want the third one attacking Leon because I think he just gets shredded to death. He really is like Micaiah. Eh, okay, not so bad there. Let's try Thunder. You don't get to see that too much. Kind of been spamming fire with Selena. I like the little hoods that the uh, male ones get too. Kind of cute. Anyway, there's no archer coming up. Not till that guy anyway. I think I'll just leave Yoon back here. I really don't want to. I, I don't plan on using him, so no point to bring him along, I guess. Who needs more? Probably, yeah. You. I think you're pretty close, too. Yeah. One experience off of level 10. Yeah, now that we have people at level 10 or approaching level 10, um, we did get a recommendation for a flyer. 
but should we promote immediately at 10 or should we let them go a little bit longer get a little bit more because I do want to get a lot of mileage out of Therene so I, I usually like level 15 I think I mentioned that before it's not like super early but you do get some levels out of it and we're a roadblock now alright I could pick someone up Tell who who. I need to remember Mir will die that archer as well. It's kind of easy to forget that she is a flyer. I mean, she does have wings, but she doesn't really like move like one. Is what I mean. Uh, all right. Actually, let's we can let her get some more experience on this. This one does a lot of frontline tanking. Draw these guys out and we can raid the chest. I don't know why I like uh, sending a thief over here. I think it's because I forget that we get the door key. Because they don't have to send them the other way for the other two. And I think there might be an illusion whip in that chest. Okay, decent one for you. I know people are excited to see these people in their like non canonical class. Also excited to get a Dragonstone one day. Not for a while. Yeah, not going quite as erratic as she did before for level ups. You two have like the same... And I don't have a javelin for you, although if you have a longbow you do. That's not a problem. Um as long as you can't go over this pool. Anyone else find it really weird that they just have random pools of water in the castle? Uh Reeve, I don't know what else you'll be doing, but Alright, you and you can come along. I changed my mind. Uh up here. We have to be careful with him if we do that. There's no one here to heal. Or he can just miss and not crit. That works too. I don't like relying on crits, but if I can like get some more XP of one, I will. Uh, who between you? You have one more to go. I think you're a long but yeah. Of course you do. There's Serene at level 10, so another one ready. Or, no, she's at level 8 only. What am I saying? Feels like I've used her a lot more than I actually have. Well, this side's making all the progress, at least, with a smaller army. I mean, that's usually how it goes in Fire Emblem. Smaller army wins. Except that one chapter in Gaiden or Echoes where you're the larger army when you have to fight the three paladins, which they did a nice job retconning into um, Berkut's group. Because it's just kind of random in Gaiden. There's just three random paladins out in the forest. Okay, another miss. Lovely. Love to see it. And there's Mr. Longbow. Longbows aren't that threatening, so maybe I can get Volter up there safely. Can please hit. Thank you. I'll take the speed. 
perfect. We can start working on our old friend the wall. Too bad we don't have a devil axe. Kale would actually be, um, or Kalok would actually be really fun to use that trick with. And wasting a men's staff. Not going to use that purge just yet. But I will hand axe you. Yeah, absolutely not threatening whatsoever. Absolutely pathetic, Mr. Longbow. Another staff boost throw. By the way, I didn't use the energy drop that we stole from the last one, anyone yet? Uh, Cyrene can probably go over here and jab on that mage. I think there are some uh, thunder ones that spawn. Uh, from the top there. Which had really high crit rates from what I remember it. Hopefully Cyrene will be good. Luckily most of our team can fly around this pool though. It's not enough to kill. If he crits. It's not like that script crit. It's fine to watch the Armor Knight crit, but it's uh, like in chapter 2 when that guy crits the random soldier. Uh, okay, I think we can drop off Soleil now. Um, uh, there is a bow. Ooh, what's a long bow? We should be fine. Mirror, maybe not so much. And you guys really don't have anything else to do. Actually... Let's make good use of these supports. I think they only gave her plus one, yeah. The javelins are kind of heavy. And I do know there's like a reinforcement trigger somewhere. It's like a line here where a thief will spawn from that staircase and steal our whatever we have equipped. Okay, yeah, no damage or no hit because you're pathetic. And you can kill yourself off. Thank you. You need to make sure it's all safe here, Run Renick, across this hallway. There they are. Cool. All right. Can you finish off the wall? Nope. I mean, we can keep... poking at just to get rid of this guy. Hopefully. Try for a crit, maybe? No, no one's getting that lucky. Okay, there we go. As soon as I say it, he gets lucky. And we have Cormag to promote if we want to. We could, we should probably try and test out the Lord promotion. Um, right, there's not too many. You're actually just a little bit off. And the Fire Fang can't go through walls, otherwise I'd like to aggro you. You aren't in range, are you? What about you? Uh, Reeve might be able to handle this guy, though. Try and get in support range. Okay, there we go. Now we're critting. And 
and I'm just gonna stay right outside your range. Make sure that, yeah, these guys aren't anywhere close. Yeah, Balter, he did fall behind a little bit, so at least he still gets a nice chunk of XP. And you're going this way. But we should be getting the gang all here. As SpongeBob would say, the gang's all here when he has his little finger puppets on. Uh, no. I think he was like alone in his pineapple and he. Something happened. I, I forget. I, it's been a long time since I watched it. But he's like, the gang's all here. He's crying and he has like little finger puppets on. It's kind of cute. The gang's all here, only if it be split up again. Uh, right, I'm gonna have Reeve just try and not equip Purge. That would be bad. No crit for you. Yeah, Mira's pretty much her walking Jagan and well, flying delete button at this point. She's almost like our actual Jagan. Uh, let's just stay out of your range. I think Walter might should just take on maybe you. So we can bring you here. Uh, so I can probably go for that Iron Mage, and I'm just gonna bring everyone else out ready to go. I oh, should probably focus on getting Leon up here. He is required as much as we'd like to leave him at the start. And do you have a do soul with that armor slayer? And there you go. Thank you for falling for the bait, although you are doing more damage than Reeve is. Yeah, I'm thinking if we are using Reeve long term, he has to get that energy ring from the last chapter. He's just really doing pathetic damage. I mean, maybe Slayer will help him out when he's only fighting monsters, but it's kind of, um, kind of not that great at this point. I'd much rather Stark Mage go for him than Soleil. I almost want to call Soleil Hayden at times. I think it's because they have kind of like a similar palette. I think Hayden has like a green cloak and grayish hair. And another level 10. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to pass this along to Renek to do it, but he needs. he has a job to do. I kind of wish Eve, but not Ephraim, Cormag could use the Armor Slayer because Ephraim makes this boss pretty pathetic, uh, but not so much here. Maybe Mir can do well. Um, Selena, maybe you can give it a go too. You're approaching a half hour, so I'd really like to finish this quickly. I don't like making episodes too, too long. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem as entertaining. I like kind of short, sweet episodes whenever I watch people play. Um. Maybe I can have you two drop him off. Of course you are. Because what else would you do? Actually, Slay would be a good matchup for this guy, too. Okay, let's just go ahead and begin the chest, and I'm gonna bring you back. Um, right. How 
what do you do with the armor slayer? Uh, pretty well. I'm just gonna let you sit there. Bring everyone else kind of around. And where's Leon? So we'll work on him while getting all of the items simultaneously. Now this guy, unlike the last boss, does have a cool portrait. I don't know, I guess some are just hit or miss, and we definitely miss. Because what else is new? And I do need Leon here to heal, actually. Now, he does have a... Do you have a... Yeah, you have a Jabby. I'm actually gonna heal you first. Don't think the throne healing will offset the... Oh, great shield. Yeah. A skill they shouldn't have brought back from Fire Emblem 4, but here it is anyway. Thanks, Torado. I'm just gonna rescue in case you get killed or anything. Um, how do you do? Not that great. And wrong person. <laughs> yeah, it goes my healing. Ah. What I could do is have you heal Dusel. Or I can heal Murr incorrectly. Not having a good time. Okay, let's just let everyone go and not go supply convoy. <sighs> well, he's almost healed back to full. Don't always say more men's because we kind of have to kill him. I could go for another thunder and then pick him up. Well, he doesn't have the javelin. A crit would be love. Thank you, Soleil. Well, I know who's going on the thumbnail. And luckily, this is a season not beat boss, so we can get that other chest. Thank you for making it quick. And yeah, another one. I think that's the whip, and I don't think Cormag can see it here because I think it has to be Erica. Uh, I hope Lion can reach. Leon Lion can reach from here, and he can. Uh, got everything, and we should be good to go. So I will see you for the next episode. Oh, by the way, before we do that, we do have to make our decision through some cutscenes and reminiscing about the past and coming back up to Freelia and you guys are all here and we are going to go with 10,000 gold and Cormag. Yes, we'll go with Cormag and they all join us. Hi, Seth. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.